world, my name is Maya Sundermeyer and I would like to welcome you to the latest episode of my blog series. The main purpose of my blog so far has been what it is like for me to live on the autism spectrum. I also like to give advice to others that live on the spectrum versus those that don't live on the spectrum and I especially like to shut down those neurotypicals that are being a great big pain in the butt. Why? Because I have to live with them and just like they have to live with someone like me. And then I'm adding another category to my blogs, um, which revolve around all things autism. I, uh, I'm starting to um, do some mild research and uh, read articles that uh, are in the uh, news that, re that are based on autistic studies and what are going on with other children with autism and how they are being treated and uh, you name it. I also am starting to blog about the nerd world and I'm going to start uh, doing, doing some research uh, by using physics.org and physics today and astronomy today and astronomy magazine and start talking about the latest findings. And then this weekend I'm going to be going to another anime convention called SeshiCon. I uh, did not get a press pass for that one. but. What I'm going to do is I'm going to start uh, doing some blogs by interviewing some other nerds there at the convention about how they are enjoying themselves and, you know, and uh, who is the guest there. And I would also like to start uh, doing some blogs about costume contests. Since, uh, there are, uh, since anime conventions are uh, cosplay, uh, cosplay Bill uh, USA. Uh, but tonight, I'm going to talk about something that is going on in the autism world. And I recently uh, decided to start promoting my blogs. And uh, I uh, did some research about it. And they said one of the best ways to do that was start uh, posting my blogs on a daily basis right on to uh, uh, Twitter. And I also decided to uh, follow several pages that uh, were... Um, that involved the the topic of autism, whether they were autistic moms, uh, autism in the news, autism speaks, you bet. Anyway, um, I had stumbled upon one of them and that that one of them was called The Autism News and I had read two really really interesting articles and um, one of them was about a 10 year old boy by the name of Jeffrey Lamb and Jeffrey Lamb is a nonverbal autistic boy and he rides a bus for kids with special needs and he has uh, all kinds of support and uh, one of uh, the people on the support was a man by the name of James Lambert and James Lambert um, was the bus attendant, bus assistant, bus aide, uh, whatever you want to call it and it just so happened that Jeffrey had been using some really, really bad words and um, it didn't sit well with uh, Lambert, with uh, Mr. James Lambert, who is uh, the bus attendant, or who was. And um, he had very low tolerance to his swearing and uh, he came up and started riling Jeffrey up and started uh, telling him, you, uh, you say it again. And he said the F word and Mr. Lambert decided that he was going to uh, take the matter into his own hands and he was going to hit Jeffrey and he had done it several times and he uh, he kept hitting him and walking him away while the bus was in motion and um, he was also making uh, making comments or making fun of him by uh, singing hush little Jeffrey don't say a word and it was just it sounded very very sadistic but that was according to the new, the media, and uh, this had all happened on the third of uh, June and thousand fourteen, and um, I uh, have a few things to mention about that. I first of all, they said that Jeffrey is nonverbal. I don't know if Jeffrey was having trouble communicating and he was frustrated about something. I don't know whether or not he didn't like being harnessed in the seat. Or maybe he, he he's mad because he can't talk, or maybe his mom and dad are uh, using some words at home that they shouldn't be using, or maybe he's watching something with uh, a lot of uh, strong uh, language in their content. Uh, either way, there's usually more to the story. What I do know that it was not okay for Mr. James Lambert 
to be going around and hitting somebody like that. That is abuse and um, that is not your responsibility. Yes, you have every right to uh, put a stop to uh, profane language, but it would have been better for you to pull him to the side and uh, ask him what's wrong. You don't pick on him like that. That is a form of bullying and again, that is domestic physical abuse. I'm sorry. Um, I, uh, I also had read further that Mr. Lambert um, had been in the, um, had, been, had worked as a bus attendant for um, over a decade, and they said that, uh, that he's always had a history of um, abusing other kids, he's told them to shut up, and he's been on suspension, and he's been, um, he's gone through training. But it sounds like it's not really working. It sounds like he just doesn't care. You know, some people don't. Some people don't care. They want, you know, they want a perfect society, and they don't want to understand. All they do is they think of themselves. So if you have any comments uh, to put below about uh, Jeffrey Lambert, uh, please be sure to subscribe, and please be sure to comment below, and please be sure to share my blogs. All right. Until next time, my name is Maya Sundermeyer, and I would like to sign off now. Bye.